Hey guys, it's Josh, and yes, Jonas is the theater, and welcome to what has officially replaced my original plan into the seventh in the Let's Play series is on my channel. Welcome to my Let's Play of Little Nightmares. <clears throat> I have done a playthrough, I have recorded, and I did record play- I can't talk, like for some reason. I did record it, footage of this episode, and of this first one of the first level in advance, but unfortunately my a microphone wasn't recording, so I figured it was best just to record the entire thing all over again. Anyway, with Halloween coming up, I thought it was is a fun idea, or that it would be a fun that it would be a fun idea to do something a little more horror oriented and most definitely not kid friendly although none of my games are really kid friendly but still um no I don't want to spoil anything settings should be all good yeah we're all good there We're good there. <clears throat> now, this is one of my favorite horror games, so I'm really eager to show you guys what it looks like. Let's get into it. Um, I will be showing how to get mo all of the major achievements that's in the game, except for the one for completing the game in a short amount of time, because I am no speedrunner, so... Welcome. To the moor. Oh, well oh, the shift key. E to uh, a sprint, the space bar to jump, control or to crouch, and the F key to uh, use your lighter, arrow keys is shift the camera, and WASD. Well, they move you around. <laughs> right, so open that and come on through.
can't really do much it's here pretty much so pretty much what you want to do all you really want to do is turn straight up at the steps and head over to the right now this statue you want to pick up by holding the left mouse button don't do that then press the space bar to just drop it, it down and to throw it down and break it here's where you can get your first achievement one, two, three, four, five, six. Jump on the bed six times and the achievement will pop up up if you're playing in any version of it except for the Switch version. I'm playing the PC version so and, and I've already I already unlocked that particular achievement, so... That's why it didn't pop up for me. Anyway, push the, the chair over to the door. Jump onto the chair and grab the, the door and then... And push the... A door opened. Push the door shut. So that actually, you didn't actually need to, but I like shutting that door. Now we're going to open the fridge. Woo! There goes one of those little guys. Those little guys are called gnomes. Similar to the real word spelling but without the EG. They're one of the collectibles in this this game. Walk up to them, give them a e hug by pressing and by holding the mouse. This button. They will follow you for a short time afterwards. Oh, geez, well, run from the slugs. Just keep running. until you reach the elevator <coughs> light that lantern then go through this door <coughs> take a running jump over to this this ledge and come into this room Pull this, now we want to pull this plank, yep that very plank, <sighs> okay you want to be very, very ready here, Just a sec. Well, you want to be very ready before moving forward. Make sure that you're ready to run because the moment, and as soon as you 
you go down there. The floor will collapse from under you. As you can see. Now you want to run. See, that's what happens, and that is what happens when if the slugs get you, they basically choke you to death. I told you this game wasn't and kid friendly. Okay, once you get over this gap, you're safe. And there's another gnome. Come across that plank and up the stairs. Jump that gap, up the stairs again. Okay, so turn this lever by holding down the mouse button and moving the WASD E keys then release and run and back being sure to not actually waste any time you know, I got it there jump and we're through there's the second gnome uh, fun fact if you're sprinting and you press this control you can do a slide You are probably wondering exactly what that was. Its name is the janitor. And yes, it is as just as horrifying as it looks. Gonna light this lantern, then push the door open so that we can slip through, and then promptly push it shut again. Move the box of toilet paper, funny as it sounds. We're going to move this box of toilet paper Yeah thanks game, I was getting to that part You can look around by using the <coughs> the directional arrows What we really want to do here is jump and pull all the lever down. From there, run straight across the playroom.
and through the he fins just in time. You just got, yeah, if you get caught in the eyes, his beam, you get turned to stone. So don't do it. Don't make my mistake. X, X, please. If you move fast enough, you won't, and you can, and even if you are caught in the light, you won't be turned to stone. But why would you want to risk it? Just run across. Like this lantern. Stupid freaky eye thing. And there goes, there's another gnome. We're going to go... We're going to follow him. We're going to light this little lantern. Pardon me. Then we're gonna hug him. Strangely wholesome for a horror game, don't you think? Well, it's gonna it's, it's gonna get less wholesome eventually. Okay, so the statue in the corner, in this corner, pick it up, and toss it. You're about to see the jan and you're about to see the janitor up close, so Shh, stay quiet. Stay quiet. can hear you, you put it down. Let's see you.
Oh yes, the hunger mechanic. This is the thing that will happen at predetermined points in a level. Yes, that electrified when that gate back there is electrified, we'll have to come back to it later. <laughs> now once we can well, once we can turn that that electricity off. And that is what happens when you fail the jump. And we're back down here again. Joy. So there are several different types of collectibles in the game, two of which we have encountered already. Actually there are only three E types, so I mean it's still technically several. Three different types. There are the lanterns, which as we in which we can see an example of over there, the gnomes, which we have had two of already near this level. And there is a third one and called glass bottles, but we will not be getting into those for quite a few videos. So I actually can't remember if I mentioned it earlier in the episode, but the this character's name is Six. As in, yes, as in the number six, and yes, she is barefoot.
Okay, so now that we're up here, what do we do? We pull this, this lever down so that the, the boxes are on our level. And then we <coughs> pull this lever over this way, here to us, or towards the wall. And then holding shift, run and jump onto it before it can go anywhere, before it can get too far away from you, or in this case from us. Climb up the chain and jump back back over to here. Okay, now, this one, you want to pull the fur the bottom cabinet out half, and all the way, pull this one out half way, jump sideways onto the the top of the filing cabinet and then jump and pull the lever plunging yourself into darkness. Alright. Oh, and open the you do it to let this little guy out, then go back through the door and hug him. Congratulations, there's all three enones in this area found, as well as both earth statues. Push the, the block down. This noose pops up. Hmm, where have we seen that before, I wonder? Right, get the noose down. And we are back in... This... Room... Down... Here. Now... You have to be quick, like making your way through here as the as that particular room is now full of slugs. So just make your way through it very quickly and to this room, similar to the last dive room. Basically, if the eye catches you, you turn to stone. Then I can't see when you're close to it, so... As soon as you come down the steps for this one and into this room, it it start and the bridge starts starts withdrawing. So climb up. Let's race all the way across and climb up while you can, and then proceed to the end of the level.
<laughs> okay. So this is the start of the next next level of the layer. However, I think we're going to wrap things up here. So, if you've enjoyed the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have already subscribed but you haven't been receiving notifications, then click the bell icon down below next to the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss any notifications for videos in the future. Share the video with your friends if you think they might enjoy my content as well. Leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts. <sighs> and my Facebook, Twitter and Discord information is as usual in the description box down below. Alright, with that said guys and girls, I'll see you guys next time for more Little Nightmares. Until then, Josh and Jonas out.